The mission statement is, the No Hate Campaign is a charitable organization whose mission is to promote marriage, gender, and human equality throughout education, advocacy, social media, and visual protests. On November 4, 2008, Proposition 8 passed in California, amending the state's constitution to ban same-sex marriage. In response to the passage of Proposition 8, Adam Bushka, celebrity photographer, and Jeff Parshley, executive producer, created the No Hate Campaign. The No Hate Campaign is a photographic, silent protest which features subjects with duct tape over their mouths, symbolizing their voices being silenced by Proposition 8, along with No Hate painted on one cheek. What about the No Hate Campaign has made it so effective in gaining momentum? The two-step flow theory, which was first introduced in 1940 by two sociologists that wanted to understand what influenced people's opinions. The study, which was called the People's Choice, found that mass persuasion involves the intervening of people as the factors between the media and the opinions, actions, and decisions. The two-step flow model works like this. An idea is presented to the mass media. From there, a handful of influential individuals accept the idea. These individuals are prominent people such as celebrities or politicians. These people are also called opinion leaders. Once the idea has opinion leaders backing it, it is then spread and widely accepted among a larger population. With a two-step flow model, the issue or idea at hand is presented to the mass media, in this case, gay rights. A handful of influential individuals, called opinion leaders, accept the idea and support it and promote it. From there, it begins to revolutionize to a wider population of many individuals. No Hate is a perfect example of this method. Let's consider the opinion leaders within the No Hate campaign. The No Hate campaign has grabbed the attention of celebrities all over the world. Since the campaign is expressing equality amongst all people, Celebrities are doing their part by showing their fans that they are people too. And no matter what your social status may be, we all should be treated equally. As celebrities, they are aware of the effect they have on people. So getting involved in such a controversial matter could cause change and cause people to stand up for themselves and what they believe in. These celebrities you see in the pictures are society's opinion leaders. With the help of these opinion leaders' influence over the American as well as the international population, the idea of acceptance in the LGBT community has grown exponentially. Let's now take a look at No Hate's mission being reflected through social revolution. A social movement is a type of group action that focuses on a specific political or social issue that the group wants to carry out, resist, or undo. Due to increased education, along with industrialization and urbanization in societies, has helped escalate social movements. No Hate Campaign has hosted various rallies to draw attention and to spread the word face to face. Now, modern movements utilize various sources of technology, such as social media, to help globalize the trend and make communication spread faster. No Hate Campaign uses open photo shoots across the nation as their primary social movement. For their shoots, everyone is welcome to come, take their own personalized No Hate photo, and do their part to spread the word. Within the past five years, the No Hate Campaign has grown to approximately 30,900 faces and continues to expand at an astonishing rate. The campaign began with portraits of everyday Californians from all walks of life and soon rose to include politicians, military personnel, artists, celebrities, and more. I think the No Hate campaign is a great way to create equal rights for all and to really change public opinion on discrimination. I think the No Hate campaign is really cool because such a small 
um, action can make such a big movement like this. I believe this is an effective campaign, um, being able to uh, kind of set a light to the things that are uh, kind of just unfair and uh, should be changed. So I think this is a great campaign. Nuestro lenguaje quizás sí diferente, pero nuestro manzanas es el mismo. I pose because I have the power to create change. I pose because I fight to stop discrimination before it starts. I pose for my family. I pose because we should strive to be uniters, not dividers. I pose because I fight for what's right. Love, the single most powerful human emotion. Love is the universal language. Love is for everybody.